Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. This is Chris Time FK7. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Chris, and I make videos on this 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatchback. So hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that bell icon so that you can be notified every time I post a new video on the channel, because I do post every Saturdays and Tuesdays. Now with that being said, today's video is going to be 15 hidden features that you may or may not know about the 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatchback. Let's go! So the first feature that I want to show you is the side mirrors. Now these side mirrors can fold out just like this. Boom! And it can fold on both side mirrors. If you're reversing into a very tight area and your side mirrors are out like that, and then if it does hit the side mirror, boom, you are protected. It's not gonna completely break off because it does fold outside like that. So it folds inward and outward. Um, so that's the first feature. Hidden feature number two. On your key fob, you ever wonder what happens if your battery drains and you're trying to unlock your car? Well, there is a way that you can take off this key right here. Um, so what you're gonna do is just slide this over just like that and then you're gonna pull out your key now Okay Since most people know about this function How in the world would I change the battery out? Well the same key you can insert into the key fob because as you can see this right here This is an exact fit for your key fob So all you gotta do put your key fob in there give it a little twist and boom you open up your key fob and that's where you can change the battery and then you can also change the housing for your key fob if you wish um, and then this takes a 2032 um, battery three volts so what happens if you can't find the battery and the battery's dead well let me simulate it for you let me take off this battery real quick so we have no battery whatsoever in the key fob so if I press on this, it's not going to do anything because the battery is right here. Usually with the key fob in your hand, uh, when there's a battery in here, you can easily go inside of the car and it unlocks as soon as you put your hands uh, under the handlebar. But in this case, since there's no battery in the key fob, there's no transmission being detected uh, by the car. So you're going to take your key. Unlock the car just like that, okay? Now we're not done yet. So you unlock the car, okay? So how are you gonna start the car without any batteries? Because this is a push to start. Come inside. All right, so now we're inside of the car uh, and like what we did earlier, we took the battery off of the key fob and now you're wondering how in the world are you gonna start the car? Because this does not have a place to put the key to turn the ignition. So what we're gonna do, you see how we press, uh, we're gonna press on the brake and usually the car would start. But it says to start, hold remote near start button. It's a little dusty, sorry about that. Uh, and that's because we took off the battery from the key fob. And in order for us to start the car, you see how it's blinking right there? So what you're gonna do is this and now it says to start engine, brake and push, just like um, normal. So you're gonna step on the brake, place it near, and then there you go, boom. That's how you start the car with a dead key fob. Uh, because even without battery inside of the key fob, this still has some kind of magnetic something, I don't know, magnetic field, um, which the car would detect, uh, that's why you're able to start the engine. It's kind of like NFC technology, um, where you place the NFC tag near something, it'll automatically detect what it is. Uh, that's kind of like the same thing that's happening to this key fob. So now that you started the car without the battery, you can go ahead and drive just like normal. Let me turn that off. And since I already showed you how to take off the battery, we're gonna place the battery back inside of the key fob. Um, so if ever you're replacing the battery, like I said earlier, you see like the space right here, that's enough space to put the key like that. 
and then you're just gonna twist it until it it opens just like this. So you can completely tear this key fob apart just like that. Uh, and then you can change all your buttons and all that stuff. We're not gonna get into that today. Um, I thought I'd just show you guys. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and place the battery back. Feature number four, uh, when you access your dash widgets, you're only gonna get seven options, um, but there's actually more than seven options to that. Uh, let me show you how exactly do you pull up more uh, widgets for your dash. So to get more options on your dash, all you gotta do is hit the settings button. Next, you're gonna go under system. Next, you're gonna go to the configuration of instrumental panel. Uh, and then this menu is where you can edit the order of your buttons. So you're gonna edit, press and hold on one of the widgets until you can move it around just like that. Uh, let's say you wanted music first. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and put that first um, because obviously your gas is there. So now when you look at your um, dash, make sure you hit okay. So when you're gonna go on your dash, you're gonna see that the music is now first since we set the music uh, to go first. Um, so that's how you edit. But let's say you wanted to delete something. Um, so you're gonna go back on your menu and then you're gonna go on this button again, configuration of an instrumental panel. And then you're gonna delete so you're gonna choose which one you'd wanna delete. Uh, like for example, I don't want the phone. So you're gonna hit okay. Make sure you press okay on this. Um, when you go on your widgets, you're gonna go ahead and scroll. And as you can see, the phone is no longer there. So now there is actually more widgets that you can add. Um, so let me show you how to add it. So same thing, configuration of instrumental panel. You're gonna hit add. And let's say, oh gee, I changed my mind, I'm gonna put the phone back. So you're gonna go ahead and tap that. So when it has a plus sign on it, it means that it's already been added. Um, so let's say um, there is a message feature uh, that you can add. And then also a average speed and time. So you're gonna go ahead and add those as well. And as you can see, these are the widgets that you're gonna have on your dash. So go ahead and hit okay. And then on your dash, you're gonna see all the widgets that suddenly popped up. Like your messages, your phone is now there, and then your average speed and time. Uh, so right there, as you can see, average speed A is 20 miles an hour. But yeah, it's cool to have, um, especially if you just wanted to keep it simple on your dash. Uh, you can remove a lot of stuff and customize it to your liking. And speaking of cleaning up the dash, you see your tachometer? You see those numbers right there? You can get rid of those numbers. So to remove those numbers on the tachometer, you're gonna go ahead, hit your settings again. And it's really simple. Gonna go to system. And then under tachometer setting, you can switch that off. And once you switch that off, if you take a look at your dash, there is no numbers and it has a much cleaner look to it. If you wanna put the numbers back on, gonna go hit system, tachometer settings, and switch it to on, and then your numbers will go back on your dash. So now that we're done with the dash, we're gonna go ahead and focus on the infotainment system. So hidden feature number six, if you scroll down like that, you can access your notifications just like how you would on an Android tablet or phone. Uh, and then this is where you can access your Wi-Fi. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, you have your basic stuff like your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, uh, and then you can you can even go in airplane mode for some reason on this car. Um, so go ahead and hit back. Uh, there's also a bunch of settings that you can play around with um, just like on an Android tablet or phone um, because this is powered by Android. There's certain ways where you can change your wallpaper. So this right here is the default wallpaper. So if you press and hold on the screen, you're going to change the wallpaper. You can choose between, if you have a USB um, thumb drive, you can plug it into the car and then it'll read uh, the pictures or whatever photos that you upload in, into that thumb drive. Uh, so you have 
your other wallpapers right here, which if you want, you can change these. You can change this to like blue or orange. Uh, I tend to like the stock red one. Uh, and then there's also live wallpapers, which you can change as well. Um, so go ahead and hit live wallpapers. You can scroll down and choose between any of these live wallpapers. Uh, this one right here, uh, just to give you an example. So now you have a live wallpaper on your home screen, on your infotainment system, which is kind of cool. And this live wallpaper, if you tap on the screen, it tells you where you're tapping, which is kind of cool. And then this is another way where you can change your wallpaper. If you scroll down again, uh, hit the settings button, then you're gonna go to display, then you're gonna hit wallpaper, and then select on, um, under wallpaper, and then this is where you can select, make it orange if you want. So go ahead and do that, and now it's orange. Yay. Amazing. So moving on to the eighth feature, um, and the eighth feature is, which I already made a separate video of it, is where you can access a web browser on this car. You can go ahead and check out my video because I did make a separate video of that hidden browser on your car. Now YouTube doesn't work, but there are certain sites which you could use, and I think that is pretty cool. Um, like during your road trip, it's a neat party trick that you can show to your friends where you can like Google search um, or you know visit whatever web browser. But for some reason, YouTube does not work. Uh, I think it may need an update or something. So yeah, if you want, go ahead and check that video out because I did make a separate video on that. So moving on to number nine. All right, so moving on to the next hidden feature that you may or may not know. If you go to Android Auto, on your home screen, as you can see, I have customized my wallpaper. Uh, and for you to customize your wallpaper on your Android Auto, um, you're gonna go ahead, scroll down, hit the settings button, scroll down, choose wallpaper. And this is where you have your different wallpapers for your Android Auto, which I think is pretty cool because you can customize it to your very own way. Um, so I'm gonna leave that with this screen right here, which is kind of cool. And if you hit back right here, as you can see, now that the wallpaper is changed. Now let's say you wanna rearrange these icons. Um, so to rearrange the icons, this is the next feature, by the way. You're gonna go settings, you're gonna scroll down, then you're gonna access on phone screen. So hit that button. Then you're gonna unlock your phone. And then now your phone would automatically go into this menu. Uh, so you can see the different settings that you can control on your Android Auto. Um, so you're gonna do customize launcher. And then this is where you can change the order of your icons. So let's say I want maps to come first. Go ahead and hit maps right there. Uh, and then I want uh, Spotify because that's one of the main things that I use when I get inside my car. Okay, and I want to remove podcasts because I don't listen to podcasts or smart things. So I don't use smart things, so remove that as well. So. Once you remove an app up here, it's automatically going to go down here. That way, in the future, if you want to have access to these apps again, you can go ahead and hit that check button. But since we're removing, I don't want that. Go ahead and uncheck that. And then to apply these settings, you are going to have to um, restart Android Auto by unplugging and replugging um, the cable. Because if you sort it out um, here without unplugging and replugging the cable, it's not gonna apply uh, once you get into your Android home screen to see all your widgets. Uh, so it's not applied. So as you can see, Smart Things is still there, Podcast is still there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna unplug it and then you're gonna re-plug the cable just like that. And then you're gonna have, you're gonna access Android Auto, go to the home screen, and as you can see, what we did earlier, we put Maps first, Spotify second, and we got rid of the podcast and the Smart Things uh, widget, which is no longer on your infotainment screen for Android Auto. Next feature I'm gonna talk about is this car stock, uh, to me, it does not have enough base. 
So what you can do to get more bass, you're gonna hit the settings button, and then you're gonna go to audio, and then you're gonna go where it says sound, and as you can see, I've already pumped up the bass to the max setting uh, because when I got this car, again, it was very bass lacking. Uh, so what I did to help compensate that bass lackiness, I maxed out the bass and then I hit OK. Uh, so that's where you can adjust your sound. All right. Um, so with that, that actually helps out a lot because it gives you a lot more bass, uh, gives music a lot more oomph instead of that empty tin can sound. Um, which is very bass lacking. So the last thing that I want to show you on the infotainment screen is your display button. So if you press this button up here, you can adjust your brightness and then you can select day and night mode. So right now we are currently in day mode. So if you go ahead and hit this twice, you're going to go into night mode. And then if you hit it again, the screen will turn off. Or if you're on day mode and you want the screen to turn off for some reason, you're gonna go ahead and press and hold onto this button until the screen turns off, just like that. And then if you wanna turn the screen back on, press the button again, and now your screen is back on. So that's another hidden feature about this car. Another feature that I wanna show you is your rear view mirror actually has a night mode. When I first got this car, I didn't know that this car actually had a night mode on the rear view mirror. Um, so you're just gonna put your hand behind the rear view mirror and you're gonna pull, cause there's like a little tab. So if you're like, if, the, if a car behind you or a truck behind you has really bright headlights, you can go ahead and slide this down just like that to give you that pretty much a dark mode for your rear view mirror. So another feature that I want to talk about is the auto start feature that this car has. To initiate that feature, you're going to press the lock button twice and this um, hold button as well. So just like that until your car starts. And this feature is very convenient because in the morning before I go to work, it allows me to warm up the car a couple of minutes before I go uh, instead of getting in the car starting the car and waiting for the car to warm uh, with this feature at least you can warm up the engine before you go anywhere so if you're in a rush this is a very convenient feature next feature all right so the last feature that I want to talk about is your windows now the key fob if you press and hold uh, on the unlock button so if you press the unlock button once and then hold it the second time you press it, your windows will go down. Just like on a European car, because um, I did own a BMW before, and this feature um, is very convenient during the hot summer days or if you just want to air out the car. So go ahead, press the buttons just like that, and then your windows will now go down. And you can stop rolling the windows anytime by just releasing the unlock button. So if you don't want to roll down the windows all the way, uh, just let go of the unlock button and it'll stop the windows from rolling down. So this is a very convenient feature that this car has. Uh, and I also talked about it on my features video, which I did a separate video of about on the channel. Um, so if you want to check out more features of this car, which I haven't discussed today, go ahead and check that video out. Uh, I will be linking it down in the description. So there's no way for you to roll up your windows using the key fob. Uh, you would actually have to take off your key and then you're gonna have to insert your key in your keyhole and then you're gonna twist to the left. Just like that. So that's how you would roll up your windows if you do change your mind, uh, if you don't want your windows to be open. So those are the 15 features that you may or may not know about this 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatch. So if you learned something, make sure you comment down below what you learned, or if you wanna share something that you learned that was not on this video, feel free to share by commenting down below because I do read comments on the daily and I do try to respond to each and every one of you. So it's gonna be cool uh, so that we can learn from each other. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos because I do upload 
every Saturday and every Tuesday on the channel. Hit that notification bell icon so that you can get notified every time I do post a video on this channel. Uh, again, thank you all for your support. Uh, this channel has hit 2,000 subscribers, which is unheard of. I never thought that this channel would come this far. So thank you all for your support. And thank you all for watching. This is Chris Time FK7 and peace out.